So my name is Christian Hogan, and I am a senior of computer engineering here at USU. And for my 21, 2021 senior design project, I decided to make modular engine control system. So the purpose of this project is to convert a small gas-powered engine from mechanical control to electrical control for timing and fuel injection. Now, I didn't have time for fuel injection, so this just implements um, the timing control. But let me show you the components of the ignition system. So it consists, so I replaced the original magneto here with a DC CDI box here and the ignition coil here. So it takes a signal from the Hall effect sensor. So I replaced the magneto with the Hall effect sensor. And as a magnet passes over the Hall effect sensor, it generates two pulses. And the magnet is, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it as it passes through. That magnet, as it passes over the Hall effect sensor, sends a signal onto the main board. So let's walk through the main box. So we have main power that goes through the power switch. And then we have, this guy is the 12 volt to 5 volt converter. This is the signal, this is for signals converting from 12 volts to 3 volts. And this is the main um, FPGA, which controls the logic of the timing. So the user interface consists of three uh, menus, I guess. So the first is RPM, the engine's not running, so it's at zero. Second is ignition timing. It's in hexadecimal, so 16 is actually 22. And then the, th the third mode is the base timing, which is defines where the magnet is on the crankshaft. And you can adjust each of these by pressing the buttons. So after some trial and error, I've discovered that that so 66 degrees minus 5 degrees, so 61 degrees is about the right spot. So yeah, let's give this, let's give this, let's get this started. So yeah, that's my senior design project.